All right, guys, it is June 6, 2022. And today, let's take a look at this interesting video. Uh, came out from eSports, essentially sports.com. Uh, makes my day. Gaming fans go berserk as notorious GPU scalper suffers mammoth $23,000 loss. Uh, this, was, this was out on June 1st, 2022. Yeah, I just saw this. And I'm, you know, first of all, you're on what? What is this about? How did you do a loss and whatever? So anyway, let's just go through this. Uh, let's see. Boom, there's some, uh, what is that card? 3050. First of all, you would not have a 3050. I don't know if you're going to do mining. So I don't know what that, why they put that picture there. Anyway, as the GPU prices are dropping steadily, fans are now getting excited to add them into their collection. Although it's a good thing for all gamers out there, scalpers are having to endure huge losses. Uh, yeah, I called this months ago, knowing that there's a lot of guys using retail bots and all this stuff, going after GPUs, hard-to-get GPUs, and even PlayStations and stuff. Uh, especially with GPUs and mining, they may have missed the memo. I would not have been using bots, retail bots at that time, to stock up on GPUs. Even middlemen were not buying them. They were maybe buying 3070 Ti's at the time. This is probably three months ago to basically fulfill orders to larger uh, vendors, retail outlets, Best Buy, stuff like that. Uh, so you were getting barely a couple bucks over what you scalped or what you got it for from Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg, whatever. Anyway, I saw that coming and uh, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know why these guys are still out there doing retail bots. Uh, anyway, in one such in instance, a content creator on TikTok. Why are you on TikTok? All right, who claims to be a scalper has reportedly blabbered about a monetary loss he had to go through. So I'm no detective, but I am, you know, gifted with a brain. First of all, what idiot who is a retailer or anyone that's using, you know, reselling or anything, who is going to first use TikTok and then blab about being a scalper? I mean, that's not going to serve your purpose at all. You just obtain the device, obtain the hardware, and just sell it, what people are willing to pay for it. Uh, not really scalping. It's basically um, going market rates, if you will. People want them. They're hard to get. And, of course, a lot of that is to the retail bots. Most humans cannot out-purchase a retail bot, even uh, most of the sites. Most of the sites like AMD and uh, Best Buy, Amazon try to do to defeat the retail bots, but the software guys on the retail bots tend to outsmart them uh, using various open source software, and they sell licenses of their software to uh, users, like 300 bucks for a license. If some go in the thousands, it's ridiculous. So the winners are really the people selling the uh, retail bot software and uh, providing memberships on discords and that on how to use retail body to get devices and products like PlayStations and GPUs to resell them uh, at higher prices. Uh, lots, lots going on there. Again, it's like the old, the old days in the 1800s when gold mining was popular out west. The people that really made money. The people that made a lot of money were the ones selling picks and shovels and donkeys and, and uh, tents and stuff for the miners. The miners really didn't take home that much money if you look at history. It was the people, the suppliers that set up shop in the, in the gold towns and stuff. They were the ones that made the money. Uh, so with the retail bots, most of the people made the money selling the software and licensing as well as the Discord subscriptions to uh, basically show you how to cook. They called it cook groups and how to go out there and uh, set up your address, jig your addresses, use your uh, throwaway credit card, stuff like that, to go out and purchase uh, GPUs in bulk, you know, multiple ones. Amazon got smart. They started to pick up on reasonable addresses, you know, blocking re uh, same credit cards being used, uh, limiting number of GPUs purchased on one address. You can get more than three. They stop it. But other sites didn't care. Some guys would score you know, 10, 10, uh, what, a 2000s, 10, uh, what, give me another card, 10, uh, 30, 70s, 10, 30, 60s. You know, they just start scoring these guys and, uh, yeah. And then those guys would go try to flip them to either stock X or sell them to a middleman or worst case, which I thought was weird is that you sell them on eBay and ha having been an eBay reseller, eBay robs you, literally robs you. I know it's their platform, but they take 14%. So you really, if you buy something, you're first going to now jack it up 
and then you got to jack it up more to get some kind of profit worth your effort just to cover your costs for using all this software blah 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 yeah so i don't know i don't see scalpers getting being the being as uh, well off as they were and in fact it's really the people like i said selling the software to these uh retail bots and stuff like that uh, some guys will go stand at stores at best buy and get lots of gpus and they'll sell them that way but again there's still middlemen involved and stuff and again the winners are the companies selling these cards people are buying nvidia nvidia is making money and nvidia is shady too they would go have backdoor deals to these uh, uh what do you call it server farms uh mining farms out one guy in south utah and they were basically selling a truckload of gpus to him for whatever price he negotiated he wasn't a retailer so he he pretty much um pissed off and nvidia pissed off all their serious official retailers who uh, were getting them at these prices and this many this quantity and they weren't able to get these cards but here this guy is getting the truckload backed up to his uh his server farm out in the middle of the desert and he's there bragging about it on social media like any idiot yeah if you're gonna do something stupid don't put it on social media guys it is the way of the world today don't just don't do it but again stupid people do stupid things right Anyway, and that's why the cops love social media. You're just, you're, you're just handing them the stuff. You're just giving it to them. You're not even letting the cops work for it anymore. It's like, oh, they just go on social media. Oh, look at that guy just did. Let's go get him. <laughs> you know, you dummy. Or it's just going to show the world what kind, of, what kind of fool you are. Again, with scalpers and or these guys making these backdoor deals uh, with these companies. So, yeah, nobody's a real champ. No one's a real sport here. No one's on the up and up. It's just what it is. So what are we doing? People are trolling the guy. People are trolling NVIDIA scalpers. Okay. And again, I did see this coming. I saw these guys are out there getting these hard-to-get GPUs because I'd have my watch list, and I would try to go click on some GPUs on Newegg, and I would never get them because they're already sold out within a second. Same as with Amazon. But then I started to notice on Newegg and Amazon, mostly Newegg, is stuff was in stock. Stuff was staying in stock. Then I would look at the trend lines, trends on sales, on eBay and on StockX, and notice the prices were starting to come down 200 bucks a month. This is around, you know, a couple months ago, and I got sick of watching it because then I realized I really don't want to buy any GPUs at this time due to proof of stake on Ethereum and Merge, et cetera, et cetera. And I just didn't want to put any more capital out. It just didn't, didn't seem like the ROI was going to be there. The juice wasn't worth the squeeze. So I held off. Anyway, for those wondering, scalpers are basically resellers who are taking advantage of unfavorable industry situations like the global chip shortage or supply constraints to make huge amounts of financial profit. Now, again, it's, it's a uh, free market. It's people want these cards. People know what they're getting into. Nobody forced them to buy these cards. They bought them. So if you bought a 1660 Super for 600 bucks and they were only going for 200 bucks a couple, like a year ago, that's on you. You bought it. It was a adult agree upon consensual transaction you know and the guy bought it so i don't know what the problem is here i don't know i guess because the gamers couldn't buy their gpus again how many gpus do gamers buy when i was building my gaming machine in 2013 2014 i bought one gpu and it was good for years i mean how what are you going through gpus every day so again my red flags are going up on some of these articles some of these comments it just makes you like really is that what's going on they're they're hazing or they're they're harassing scalpers there's so many red flags first of all if you are a reseller and you're scalping why would you put it out there on tiktok you do that that's just stupid so then you get what you get second thing is if you're a gamer again like i said how many gpus are you buying i mean jesus what's going on there that's just crazy so you wonder about that and then uh yeah i don't know who knows? Let's go on. Anyway, the prices have not come down all that much. They come down, but they're going to go down lower. So I don't see, if anything, if you're a gamer and you want a nice GPU, I would just hold out. Man, everyone's just going to hold out. I'd hold out to this uh, this stupid Ethereum POS merge is about to happen. Wait for that, and you are going to see GPUs go to rock bottom. MSRP will be the new scalper price. Yeah. All right, not only does scalping affect the GPU industry, but it also managed to annoy Sony and Microsoft. Yeah, scalpers managed to take advantage of the supply shortage of PS5 and Xbox Series ever since their launch. Yeah, I, yeah people were getting PS5s, tons of them, by uh, using those, um, what do they call it? Retail app, re retail bots, like uh, Stellar. Uh, what's the other one? Stellar, there's a bunch out there. 
and then you can do a cloud bots too where you pay a subscription and it's just crazy it was almost the wild west people paying up for these subscriptions to learn the retail bot and all that stuff uh, but again i know some miners did use retail bots just to get inventory they weren't scalping they just wanted to get gpus at msrp from the shops and they knew they weren't going to beat these guys with these damn retail bots. So I think they went out there and they used a couple of retail bots and they bought their inventory in GPUs and blam, hooked them up. And they, they added to their inventory. So they weren't scalping. They just basically saw the market, saw what was going on, used their brain. They did the work. They used their brain. They didn't sit back in their basement and complain. They actually said, all right, that's the game. Game on. Let's do it. And uh, they stocked up on their GPUs and got their mining farms up. And... Uh, they won. I call them winners. They found a problem, and they, uh, they, they solved the problem. They found a solution. All right, yeah, I don't know about PS5s and Xboxes. Yeah, whatever. That's just gaming to me is a waste of time and effort. You can spend that time bettering yourself, become a better version of yourself. It just seems like sitting there staring at a game all day is just not really the best solution, unless you're sponsored or getting paid. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'll agree with that. I used to play. Um, I like Portal. was probably the last game I played. And that was years ago. But after that, it's like, I need to focus more on doing stuff that's productive and, and spending time with the family instead of playing games. Anyway, it's finally a favorable time for PC gamers to upgrade to a new RTX 3000 series card or plan to get an upcoming one. GPU prices fell substantially in the last couple of months due to the mining exodus, as reported by Tom's Hardware, and is certainly not favorable for scalpers and miners anymore. Um... I don't know about that. I'm, the jury's still on that. On that, I'm not adding any more GPUs because I just don't want to add any more right now. I'm just not. I'm looking for options, and I'm trying to see if there's a more efficient way to crypto mine, uh, or do you stake, or you just go and trade it, and make, are you better off trading and taking that money you spend on this hardware, and all the support and logistics that go with it, and just buy the damn crypto right outright and hold it and stake it if you can. I don't know. That may be the best solution right now. But again, it's a hobby. Tom's Hardware, yeah, they're okay, I guess. Who knows? So, let's see. Oh, so a GPU scalper narrates his regretful story of losing 23K. Oh, a TikTok video. Again, there's another red flag. Why is he on TikTok making videos? It doesn't make sense to me. People are quick to judge, quick to react to these type of things. Again, you, the, uh, you may be in um, trolled. This may just be a joke. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, a TikTok video which has this person refers to himself, um, in which this person refers to himself as a scalper, which again is odd. Why it, you don't see criminals to call themselves criminals? You know, it went viral yesterday. The scalper is reportedly is reportedly at a 23k loss and regrets about uh, investing in the industry. The uh, video also includes him showing a bunch of GPU units stacked in a box, which he was planning to sell but couldn't do to the downfall. And then look at the people react. It's kind of funny. That's what you, uh, that's what you effing get, blah, blah, blah. Again, I think these people are being trolled and they don't know it. It's, that's what I mean. You, people are so quick to react without doing some research and, and questioning. They, they make themselves look more stupid. Uh, like the people reacting like this. That's what you get and all this on Reddit. I, Reddit is AIDS. Do not use Reddit. TikTok is AIDS. It's owned by the Chai Coms. Do not use it. Just be careful out there. Social media is a trap. It's a tarp. It's a tarp. Uh, yeah, you got to watch out for that. All right. The viral video has also attracted a huge debate on aid it. I call it aids it. While some said that the video was a cry for attention, others called him a minor mm -hmm, and refused to believe his claim. On the other hand, some found the revelations perfectly plausible. More importantly, away from the debate, every non-scalper was happy thinking about all the all the lost scalpers and miners are going to go through in 2022. Uh, all right, they're going through a feel-good story. Let's look at this last statement. More importantly, away from the debate, every non-scalper was happy thinking about all the loss scalpers and miners are having to go through in 2022. First of, you don't get mining if you're making that statement. Couple things here. Basically, a strategy of mining is to mine and stack Satoshi, stack coins, mine the most profitable coin, get it into Bitcoin. You're going to hold. You basically will pay your power bill out of pocket, out of your job, whatever other income you have. 
your goal is to basically just get the coin and not equate it to current USD fiat value. That is a that's that's kind of the wrong mindset with the crypto. You want to get you want to build up your stacks. You want to build up your coins, hopefully good coins. I told told people stay away from altcoins as much as possible. It's a shiny object. Bitcoin is king. It's liquid gold. It's digital real. It's not liquid gold. It's digital gold. It's digital real estate. It is a store of value. All these other stupid coins, altcoins, anything not Bitcoin is called an altcoin. They follow Bitcoin. Do you ever notice that? Bitcoin will go up 2%, 3%, and maybe a day or two later, everything else may go up 1%, like 30% of that or something. It's just such speculation with altcoins. And I tell people now, just steer, steer away from them. If you're going to use them, mine them, but get the payout on the pool. Get the payout in Bitcoin and put that in your wallet and sit on it until Bitcoin goes way up again because uh, adoption is growing fast. It's all Bitcoin. People get it. The emerge of Ethereum, the uh, flippening, they called it, where Ethereum's uh, market cap would surpass that of Bitcoin is not ever going to happen, in my humble opinion, mainly because I have no faith in the Ethereum devs. Uh, they are saying they want to go to the merge the POS for environmental reasons because of proof of work. I call BS on that because that's not a problem. That's just a cover. The reason is there is so much pre-mined Ethereum out there that these guys hold. They want to start staking it and start getting more money from their stakings. Again, like in law, law enforcement, right? LEOs. You follow the money and you learn most people's motivation. And that's the secret here. You follow, what's the motivation here? Well, what, who's going to benefit the most? Monetarily, it's not the environment, climate, POW crap they're saying. Uh, that's the same stuff the government pulls just to get you to believe something that's not true. Uh, same here with Ethereum. So stay away from all coins. I do own a couple. I have been flipping as I can over to Bitcoin, just dumping them because I'm just so sick of having all these different wallets. Speculation is one thing, like I'll hold Raptorium because there may be hope for that. But if it does go up, I may consider flipping it over, exchanging it to Bitcoin. I want to get one huge bag of Bitcoin and sit back and just watch it and watch it and say, come on, baby, come on, baby. You're going to the moon. I don't even care about the moon. Uh, volatility in crypto can be your friend. And you may have to start changing your mindset to consider taking profits when there's profits to be taken. And uh, putting that money, the profits, into a stable coin. So when the market does do its little corrections again, you buy back in and keep adding and keep adding. My mistake was since 2016, I bought in and bought a bunch of altcoins. Everything goes down 85, 90%. I'm sitting there going, holy crap, that was real stupid of me. Boy, I felt like the biggest dumbass ever. And uh, yeah, and then I learned not to get into altcoins anymore, especially Litecoin. I'm in that big... Uh, I went to 200, the founder dumped out of it, and I went, oh crap, red flag, I should have dumped when he dumped. I did not. It tanked. Uh, now it went back up to 400 bucks a, a, a coin. Again, shouldn't matter about it, but again, I could have made profits, but I didn't. I held on, you know, that hopium, and again, went back down to 60 right now. So I'm so sick of following the altcoins, I want to get everything into Bitcoin and just sit back, store a value, and just let it grow. And on some exchanges, like Voyager or wallets and platforms, I get passive income with rewards and staking of my Bitcoin. And even more so when I hold like a Voyager coin, I get more rewards each month. It's like dividend reinvesting, compounding, which is the seventh or eighth wonder of the world. If you want to join up to Voyager, check it out. I got a link below. Uh, you get 50 bucks if you deposit and trade a hundred dollars of crypto on Voyager. And it's a win-win for everybody, baby. Uh, that's the way you do it. Do your own research, use your brain, check it out. It may be good for you. It may not be good for you. It's up to you. Uh, it's your money. No one cares more and more. Nobody cares more about your money than you do. Uh, pro tip, do not use financial advisors. Do not listen to people on YouTube. Do not use people like Ameriprise or any of these people. They don't care about your money. They will use your money and use you to make money from fees and expenses selling you crappy products. Trust me, I, I, I was just sold something years ago. And uh, here the S&P 500 goes up 200%. The thing they sold me barely went up 2%. I've, I was almost like I've been financially robbed, you know, raped, if you I hate to use that word. But uh, yeah, that, it's bad. Do not use financial advisors. From my experience, you can do better yourself. It's your money. You love your money more than they do. They just want to use you as the tool to make them money. Uh, they don't care about you making money. Yeah, I had bad experiences, guys. More than one. And so it's just I enough is enough. 
uh, watch it, watch your own money. And like I said, with this stuff, when people like me or others mention anything, look at it, say, eh, he's full of crap. Go do your own research, uh, digest it, and come out with your own opinion. All right. So what do we got here? Yeah, so this article, like I said, um, if you understand mining, it's not based on the current valuation of the USD to the coin. You're basically trying to stack coins because you believe in something, and uh, why knock it? I mean, no one's hurting anyone. They're allowed to get GPUs. They found a way to get them, and they got them. They didn't resell them. They weren't scalping. And again, if you're a scalper, you're not going to be any normal human. It's not going to be out there, hey, I'm a scalper on TikTok. That's just stupid. There's just too many red flags here. And... Uh, the other thing in the video here, here's one video. Let's see. Where's the other video? Is this the video? Let me see if I can play. So look at this video. There's no sound for some reason. So apparently this is the video. What do you see wrong here? There's a big red flag. I'm, again, I'm not a genius, but I, I have a brain. What do you see wrong here, guys? These are all different GPUs. And you know what? They're out of the box. They're, the seal has been broken on the box. If you are a scalper, if you are a, not even a scalper, if you are a reseller and you got the thing off Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg, Walmart, whatever, you are not going to take that out of the box. You are not going to break that seal because you want it to be authentic. If you don't believe me, go to eBay. Look for a 3070 Ti and it'll say sealed new in box. That's how you get the most money. This guy has them loose in a box sitting on top of each other where the fan blades can get broken and dirt can get in them. Uh, these are used GPUs. This guy is more than anything a miner who just is just showing off his GPUs or, or boxing them up to maybe sell them on eBay or something like that. Yeah, so I don't know. This is all, this story is all, it's just fake to me. Yeah, when they're laying loose like that, no one's gonna buy and spend top dollar on a GPU that is not currently sealed in new in a box, like an NVIDIA box, AMD box, GE Force, whatever brand you're buying, uh, Asus. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna buy them like that unless you're getting them used at a very big discount. And uh, that's probably through local, what, what's that crappy site? Facebook, Fakebook. If you're doing Fakebook Marketplace, where they steal all your data uh, and monitor to your, you and your friends for the uh, government, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think he's selling them locally. I think he's a miner, and I think he's trolling people. So this is a master troll, and y'all got, y'all been got. So I saw this article, and I laughed. I just knew right away when I saw that video. I said, yeah, this guy, this guy is probably just a miner, and uh, he probably invested that much money in his rigs, and he probably made it back through crypto mining. It depends how long he's been mining. And if he's hodling, if he's holding what he mined, he's going to do really well in a couple of years when uh, the next bull run happens with Bitcoin. So again... It's no regretful story. You're all being trolled. Uh, of course, GPUs are dropping. They are still a little bit above MSRP. It's not as uh, big of a drop as Tom's Hardware indicated or this article has indicated. There are, I would just wait, guys. If you want a GPU, whether you're a miner, I would not be buying GPUs at this time. If you're a gamer and you want a GPU, man, you can get a nice GPU. If there are some people selling their rigs, they may be selling some high-end 3090s, 3080 Ti's. You can get a decent GPU that's only been used to mine. Again, mining doesn't hurt the car. I mean, come on. The uh, car's going to be great. You're going to get it for a little bit, you know, less than MSRP. Uh, you're going to have a car that's going to last you a couple years. So the new car comes out you want to play the more futuristic games. But uh, that's just the way it is, man. There are cards out there. They are kind of in stock a little bit. Prices are still up there. They are above MSRP yet. I would not do it until the... Uh, until the dreaded Ethereum merge occurs, uh, and then you're going to probably see lots of people maybe dumping their GPUs and, uh, yeah, get them off eBay, get them off something like that. You've got some buyer protection there in case they're trying to sell you a brick. Uh, be careful on eBay. It's always questionable, but, um, yeah, always go with uh, established sellers with uh, return and then take pictures and ask them questions. eBay will protect you and vice versa. eBay's, eBay will protect sellers from scammy buyers and there are scammy buyers out there. You do not sell to new list, new, newly listed buyers that have a new account with no feedback. Just common sense. Lots of feedback from a buyer, lots of feedback from a seller. Account's been good for a year. Uh, they sell a couple items. They've been active and uh, they have a nice retail policy and you can check their address 
especially if someone does buy something for you, you can check their address to make sure it's a residence and it's not a scam like a garage or a trailer park or a vacant lot. Uh, Cause they will say they didn't get it. And then eBay will do a chargeback on you and you lost 600 bucks or whatever cost the GPU. Lots of scam. I mean, it's a tough world. You want the world to be a better place, but it's not. And this is what we have to deal with. And that makes life really exciting. <laughs> it's just the way it is. All right. So this article I call, I call BS. I think the guy is a master troller. He's just a minor trolling gamers. And I think the gamers got trolled and it's hilarious to me because I can see right away if these guys knew anything about scalping and how the retail bots work and how you're getting the stuff, you are not. This is a major no-no. You do not have GPUs out in a box with other GPUs like that. You have them like this. In this thing, you have them nicely racked and stacked. Even not that high, because if they fall and break, you kind of lost your money that way. But, um, yeah, GPs are still selling, so I don't think he's lost anything. I think this guy is just trolling you. So, anyway, it's a feel-good story. And, again, it just, it just goes, goes to show you in life. You never know the whole truth. That's why you, you keep your mouth shut and uh, be considered a fool than to open your mouth and dispel all doubt. And uh, that's like, like Jack, S-H-I-T-T? Oh, sh shut. Sorry, boo. You might want to change your last name. Uh, can be misspelled by accident. So J Zach here is shooting from the hip. This person with the weird font is shooting from the hip with a horrible thing. Uh, Zach is still, it's all repeated on Zach. Beck, again, people just dogpile. And that's why social media is AIDS. Uh, it was probably invented by, well, we know who it was invented by. Um, hope he loses more. Again, you were, you were trolled. Troll on Red Hot Bluff Vickian. He, uh, he's, been, he's been a victim of just being trolled. Angry Nerd has also been trolled. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. This makes me so happy. I got extremely lucky and got a 3080s Founder Edition from Best Buy for MSRP. Such a huge increase over my 1070 Ti that I had to upgrade my PSU as well. Um, Angry Nerd, show the receipt. I do not believe you got a 3080s Founder Edition from Best Buy unless you went in person and stood in line and lucked out. If you tried to buy it online, you weren't going to get it. I would question it, post your receipt. And uh, yeah, you're going from a 1070. So again, you had an old GPU and then you went with a 3080. I don't know why you went with that. You might have just waited for the 4000 series. Yeah. Oh, well, it's your money. Good luck. Anyway, troll, classic troll here. Uh, again, getting GPUs with retail bots is a tool for miners. If you want to get GPUs, watch some of these big YouTube GPU uh, crypto miner guys. They have all these boxes of GPUs in their room being shipped to them. I'm going, dude, I know what you're doing. You know, you're using a retail bot to get these. Unless you work at a freaking electronics store and are getting these ordered, there's no other way you're getting these. So I just think it's funny. It's all a game, and people know how to uh, use the system, use capitalism, use the demand, use the tools, and uh, get their mining rigs up, up to date. And uh, the scalping, yeah, no one's going to pay, pay too much more. But mark my words, watch a new coin come out. And a POW, proof of work, on a new coin, a new algorithm, and it's profitable, you're going to see the same thing happen again. And if NVIDIA had any freaking brains to them, if they had any smarts uh, as an NVIDIA stockholder, they would make a complete line of GPU mining cards. I don't get why they don't. They hate miners, which is so stupid. As a stockholder, you almost want to sue NVIDIA for basically not going after profit. And I'm very upset because we are down 40% right now on NVIDIA. It's a horrible stock right now. They screwed the pooch. And uh, yeah, I don't know. They put the LHR in place. And thank God the hackers came out and said, you know, hey, take that, guys. They, uh, they unlocked it. And all my now my crappy 3080 Ti LHR cards are now churning away at full speed, giving as much yummy mega hash, being efficient as possible. And uh, maybe I'll get a few bucks before this uh, Ethereum drops off. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to keep mining. And, uh, anyway, you guys got trolled. You gamers got trolled. This guy's a miner. He's just basically moving his rig somewhere and put him on a box and said, I'm going to make a TikTok video. All right, I'm out, guys. Yeah, look. But this is wrong. People are trolling NVIDIA scalpers. No. Gamers are being trolled by a miner with a bunch of GPUs and a cardboard box. So it just shows you how these gamers don't know 
how reselling works. <laughs> you guys, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. All right, I'm out, guys. Take care.